It's not dementia. It's your heart medication. I remember Lisa and I over the summer, we went to uh, an affair up in the mountains. We looked around the room and I could see in the generation of the people in their 60s and 70s, what I called at the time the Lipitor glaze. It was that blank stare of, I think I'm here, but I'm not sure if I'm here. Maybe I'm here, maybe I'm not here. What's your name again? I can't think and I can't remember. And this is a generation that they still think cholesterol causes heart disease and they're on statin drugs that have not been tested for extended use the way that they are prescribed, especially in a population where longevity is happening. And you look at all of these people and I said, I bet all these people are on some form of statin drug. And you know what? They were and they are. And it happened to my father. I went back and looked at pictures of my dad 10 years, 12 years before he really got sick. And you could see in his eye the glaze. At the age of 49, he had a heart attack. It was devastating. Fortunately, it didn't kill him. It got him to change his life. He changed his lifestyle, started getting adjusted more frequently, started running, ate healthier, stopped smoking, lost 30 pounds. But here's the thing. It scared him so much that he never really run to enjoy his life. The wind in his face, being outside, the environment. He ran to not die. And at the age of 78, after 10 years of not knowing his family, who he loved so much, he died with a healthy heart and no brain. Come on, you see these assisted living centers popping up all over the place? Come on, we are getting the advance notice that our parents and grandparents never received that we will probably live longer than we ever thought and we don't belong in homes. We belong outside, being involved, engaged in the community, serving a purpose. And this world needs new leadership.